The Ecology Lab at the University of Waterloo will be demonstrating how to use the float ball method to measure velocity. To measure stream velocity using the float ball method, we will need waders and a life jacket to enter the water, a meter stick to measure the distance which the ball floats, a float ball, and a stopwatch. Waterproof gloves are helpful especially in the winter. Your sampling method may require a measuring tape to divide the stream. To perform the float ball method, one person will hold the meter stick over the stream parallel to the water's flow. A person will drop the ball upstream of the meter stick. Ensure that you are not in the direct flow of the water to not disturb the flow. Drop the ball carefully, just above the water surface. Avoid dropping it from a height. Make sure to drop the ball upstream of the meter stick so it is going with the speed of the water when it reaches the start of the meter stick. Ensure that the person upstream has a good view of the ball and shouts start when the ball reaches the meter stick. Someone on shore can be listening and using a stopwatch to measure the time. The person downstream can shout stop when the ball finishes crossing the meter stick. Ensure someone downstream can catch the ball as it can float away fast, especially if you are at a fast moving point in the river. This should be done three times at each sampling point. Average the seconds by adding them and dividing by three. You will then need to invert to get meters per second instead of seconds per meter. Start. Stop. Start. Stop. 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 Thanks for watching.